All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Torchlight Infinite. I've already messed around a little bit. <laughs> I'd actually recorded before, but um, uh, yeah, I didn't have the sound on, I guess. And uh, so we're going to start a brand new character here and just redo this whole thing. First, I'll show you guys all the different characters here. We got the Berserker, Rayhan. For honor, for justice, and for the glory of the Herman family. Divine Shot, Carino. I'm biting cold and the blazing fire. Frostfire, Gemma. Look how much room, look how much space there is on the screen here for for more characters. Like, see this huge line at the bottom? So it looks like there's room for at least like five, six more characters here. Is right your eyes. Huh. And this is the character I made, the, the, my first character, Space Time Witness, Yuga. This time, um, actually, let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of, go to the next step. I think it shows like a preview of uh, their abilities and that sort of thing. So that's Yuga right there. I'm biting cold and the blazing fire. There's Frostfire. For justice and for the glory of the Herman family. <laughs> He's just running around shooting things. By flames of fury. And Berserker Rayhan. I think I'm going to make this guy actually right now. When hitting or taking damage, gains rage, which increases attack damage, attack speed, enters Berserk at maximum rage. Yeah, what. Some really cool thing about this game right off the bat is that it actually has, like, resources. <laughs> a lot of games these days are just going for cooldowns only, no resources. I like, I like um, some resource management in my games. Alright, so let's go through the tutorial and that sort of thing here. Show me the basic operations, okay. Move to target location. Ember Blight has fully taken this place. Will I really find Torchlight here? Okay, so this guy has the, um... There's a monster coming at me right now. This guy has... The, wait, does the game pause while you're... in the inventory? Hmm. Okay, definitely have to test that. Not gonna, not gonna read all this stuff. We don't have that time for that. This is a limited time beta here. Melee physical damage. New skill. Support skill. Equip it. Noise. All right. So next monster we find, I'm gonna try to open the inventory and see if it. The game pauses. We're not getting any feedback if we are getting hit right now um they definitely should <laughs> there definitely should be some like flashing on the screen or something no it seems like it pauses actually interesting so at least um i guess part of this game is offline then right or maybe it's just for the tutorial i'm gonna try it try it again real quick Hmm. DPS survival, strength. Guess there's no like um details about what these do anywhere. Next page. Damage value. Rage. 
reference main hand accuracy. So you can see all the values or the damage from your gear and how it affects your skills here. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. So this is um, one of the annoying things about the, the beta here is anytime your character is not moving for more than a minute, it kicks you out of the game. Even if you're like in menus and that sort of thing. Pretty annoying. Oh, and I have to start all the way from the beginning too. All right, so we're not going to do much menuing. Hopefully, they uh, they fix this before um, they release this to the public. I mean, the public beta, because yeah, that's really annoying. Okay, so this potion, I have the same exact potion on the uh, my other character. Seems to do the same thing, just, um, oops. It's hard to, um, it's hard to see when, like, I, I have the auto pickup on, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I want to double check, but I feel like I might get uh, kicked out of the game again if I, if I actually go into the, the settings right now. One nice thing is it does seem to have like little branches off to the side to explore, so that's nice. It's always nice to have in your maps. So it's not completely linear, but definitely not. Uh, well, let's not judge the open world just yet. Let's give it some more time, huh? Okay, so that's my uh, my ultimate, I guess. There it is, okay. Increases movement speed, damage, and attack speed, it seems. Doesn't last very long, though. Hmm. Though I guess it does charge up fairly quickly. wonder if there's a way to get over to that side of the map over there. Do I get rage when I get hit? Yes, I do. Nice. Guess there's no way to get over there. If only I could jump. But yeah, so far, like, um... Seems pretty good. This, seem, this this game seems pretty good, pretty smooth. I guess uh, of course it's smooth because it's I guess it's offline at this point. Actually, let's see. Let's see if it if I'm taking damage while I'm in my inventory here. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right here with the so those bubbles are wait. Yeah, so I have the stuff on the ground underneath me. So let's see if that goes away while I'm uh, here in my inventory. Two energy shield. Is that better than armor? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I was taking damage there. Like these these enemies do so little damage, it's hard to really tell. I th I'm pretty sure it pauses. I'm pretty sure it pauses. Ooh, I got my first blue item already. Nice. 
talents. The God of Might, activate. Okay. I little cage. Plus 12% attack damage. Sure, why not? All right, now I want to do. I actually want to go check that setting. Um, pick up settings. Rare items and gears need to be manually picked up. Okay then. It's always a pleasure to see a new face. What happened to this place? After the tower spark was gone, the netherim born from the ember blight overran this area. Thanks to you, we've cleared most of the netherim. Let's go back to the hideout. All right. All right, guys, I think I'll end this here. That was the tutorial for Torchlight Infinite. Um, in case you're interested in some of the other settings and stuff, I do have everything on Ultimate, Max, FPS, 60 FPS. We're running at 60 FPS, 40 degrees. Nice, cool, 40 degrees. Language set settings, we have Chinese and English for both voice and text. Message settings. Battle settings. Display damage numbers. You can toggle that off if you like. Okay, now we have... Um, was that there up the whole time up there in the upper left? The, uh, the ping and the frame rate counter? Am I just... Did I just not notice it the whole time? <laughs> So maybe now we're in a uh, an online area, and maybe we were not before. Oh, what was that? That was like some sort of a cliff engraving. Okay. Collectibles, I guess. But yeah, um, that was the tutorial to, to Torch to Light Infinite. Here's the town here. Well, end this video right here and uh, definitely get some more videos coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time. GG's. Let me see. Can we zoom? No, no zoom. Unfortunately, my pinching is doing nothing. Peace.